Hello students, here are the questions and answers of the lesson, The Sound of Music for class 9. Question number 1. How old was Evelyn when she went to the Royal Academy of Music? Answer. Evelyn was 16 years old when she went to the Royal Academy of Music. Two. When was her deafness first noticed? When was it confirmed? Answer. Evelyn's deafness was first noticed when she was 8 years old. It was confirmed when she was at the age of 11. Question. Who helped her to continue with music? What did he do and say? Answer. Ron Forbes helped her to continue with music. He spotted her potential and he began by tuning two large drums to different notes. He also asked Evelyn not to listen through ears but to try to sense it some other way. Next question. Name the various places and causes for which Evelyn performs. Answer. Apart from the regular concerts, apart from the regular concerts, Evelyn also gave free concerts in prisons and hospitals. She also gave High priority to classes for young musicians. Next question. How does Evelyn hear music? Evelyn hears music through different parts of her body. Ron Forbes, a percussionist, spotted her potential. He asked her not to listen the music through ears, but try to sense it some other way. Evelyn realized that she could sense certain notes in different part of her of the body. She could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down. She says that she could sense the sound passing up the sticks into her fingertips by leaning against the drum she can feel the resonance resonances flowing into her body on a wooden platform she removes her shoes so that the vibration pass through her bare feet and half her legs. Part 2 Question answers Why did Aurangzeb ban the playing of the Pungi? Answer Aurangzeb banned the playing of the Pungi because it had a shrill unpleasant sound. Question number two. How is a Shehenai different from a Pungi? Answer. A Shehenai is a pipe with a natural hollow stem that is longer and broader than a Pungi. 
it also has seven holes on the body of the pipe question number 3 where was the shenai played traditionally how did bismillah khan change this answer answer the shenai was a part of the nobat or traditional ensemble of nine instruments found at royal courts ustad bismillah khan brought the shenai onto the classical stage question number 4 when and how did bismillah khan get his big break answer bismillah khan got his big break with the opening of the all india radio in lucknow in 1938 he became an often heard shehnai player on radio next question question number 5 where did bismillah khan play the shehnai on 15 august 1947 why was it event why was the event historic answer on 15th august 1947 bismillah khan played the shehnai at redford he was the first indian to greet the nation with shehnai the event was historic because it was the day when we got independence bismillah khan poured his heart out into rag rag kali from the red fort to an audience which included pandit jawaharlal nehru next question question number 6 why did bismillah khan refuse to start a shehnai school in the usa answer bismillah khan refused to start a shehnai school in the usa because he did not want to live away from india especially from banaras the holy ganga river and damrau question number 7 find at least two instances in the text which tell you that bismillah khan loves india and banaras answer the two instances in the text which tells that bismillah khan loves india and banaras are number 1 whenever he visits a foreign country he keeps yearning to see hindustan number 2 while he is in mumbai he only thinks of banaras and the holy ganga thanks for watching